Three questions with Andy Richter podcast. Again, new episodes of this podcast airing weekly on Tuesdays, wherever you get your podcasts right here on the Rich Eisen Show on Peacock. Our terrestrial radio audience is back. Andy Richter, three questions with Andy Richter podcast where all podcasts are acquired right here on the show. So the three questions, uh, I know what they are, but I'll give you the floor and what the yes. the questions are for this podcast. They are, uh, uh, where do you come from? Where are you going? And what have you learned? Okay. Um, and they're just kind of, I feel like I had been approached, you know, Team Richter, yes, sir. <laughs> with the top-notch professionals that they are, yes. uh, had bugged me for a while. They said, you should do a podcast. But I always felt, because I have friends that are true, you know, originators of the podcast yes, business, sir. and I still feel like an old man about it a lot, where I'm like, really? Mm-hmm. The people are... I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. Okay. I listen to Howard Stern. He's been my podcast... Yeah. For a thousand years. Exactly. So, you know, sure. um, but I still, it's the same thing. Like I can't like somebody that's like really super successful on YouTube that doesn't translate to me. Cause I'm old. I'm like, hmm. really? And it's like, yeah, this, this guy's, you know, outpaced you by earnings by four times. And I'm like, YouTube guy. Like, yeah, yeah, YouTube guy, old yeah. man, wake Damn up. Straight. Exactly. Um, so when they were telling me I should do a podcast, I resisted and I was like, I felt like a Johnny come lately, you know, and I just was like, hey, dilettante. And then I finally thought, oh, what the heck? I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Yes. Um, and so I thought what I really want to do is have the kind of conversations that I would get to have with people in commercial breaks on the Conan show, which is like the stuff I want to know about, which is like how many kids were in your family? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, what's your work day like? That kind of thing. And um, and then also I like, you know, I've been in therapy for a million years and I like when people can take the the facts of their life and extrapolate. Well, this is why I'm like this. Right. Because of these things that happen. I think that's just always an interesting conversation. So I want I thought those three questions kind of encompass that kind of that kind of notion of kind of thinking about where you come from and how it makes you who you are. Um, and so I, I decided, yep, I'm going to do the podcast. And then uh, like a week later, this will tell you about the, 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 the communication over at the Conan organization. Yes, sir. About a week later, I hear Conan's doing a podcast. I was like, Every time. I just was, yeah, I was just, why didn't I say yes a month ago? I could have <laughs> right. beat him to the punch. Uh, but yeah, but you know, it's all fine now. Everybody has a podcast. Well, no, not that is not true. And certainly the guests you're getting are stupendous. I mean, your recent guests have included Judd Apatow, Will Arnett, Kristen Bell, Bill Hader, who's awesome, and Henry yeah. Winkler, who was in that chair about a month ago. What a delightful human He's being. He's fantastic. Oh, and my he, God. He was my first in-person uh, after COVID, my post-first, right. you know, in-person. Because, you know, pre-COVID, it was all in studio face to face and then it went to computer and and he was my first one back actually face to face he's amazing yeah i love i just i just talked to jake tapper yesterday we recorded one yesterday okay very good um i've heard of him yeah yeah um so yeah i mean i get i get really uh rachel bilson's on the show this week okay um i get really good guests but it's all you know i just talk to people that i want to talk to which Mm -hmm. is nice i don't it, you know, it's not like... Is that why I haven't been on? Is that what it is? is that... <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I mean, to be frank, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. straightforward I mean, I'll, I'll drive to El Segundo for you, <laughs> but I'm not having you on my show. I mean, come on. I love that. Andy Richter here on the Rich Eisen Show. Three questions with Andy Richter podcast. And it's funny how you, you mentioned how you're asking questions or you want to know. These are things that you'd want to know based on uh, conversations you'd have in commercial breaks with, yeah. with guests over the years uh, sitting there on Conan. Uh, with Conan, so was there was there ever a guest who overshared and like the commercial breaks coming back and you kind of oh. like had a, you know, you kind of had to be like, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm glad I asked, but I mean we're coming right back, three, two, one. Like, yeah, is there well, a moment like that sort of thing, Andy? Uh, Something like that. Fabio. <laughs> I Fabio. love that. By the way, if I, I know. I we're this already was starting lib, good. If this was a Mad Lib, I and know. I would have put that proper name in that blank space. Fabio right told us Fantastic. a story on air about a stalker confronting him at a breakfast place where he was having breakfast with a friend. And in the commercial break, which I think he just, 
I can't remember what the details, but it just sounded like uh, it, it just it was it was kind of neutral, but it seemed crazy. Like, yes. you know, the police had to be called and all this stuff. And then in the commercial break, we were talking to him and we said, we were like, that was nuts. He goes like, he said, yes, but I didn't even tell you the, he said, I didn't tell on the air the best part that um, she had oh. a, a Ziploc bag full of her pubic hair <laughs> and she dumped it on the table. And I don't know if it was, I can't remember if it was on his food or not. He goes, but she must have shaved everything. It was a lot of pubic hair. And then he said, and then when I get out, I get out to the, I get out to the. so funny. I know. And he said, and when I get out to my car, my car is covered with mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> I we're like, what? He's like, yes, covered with mashed potatoes and peas. <laughs> what a strange, what mixed signals to be sending <laughs> to somebody, you know? Mixed signals. Yeah, yeah. It's a great way to yeah, put yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Mashed potatoes and peas. Yeah. Fabio's mixed signals. Fabio's mixed signals or Fabio's mashed potato <laughs> and cheese <laughs> peas could be a great fantasy team name, Chris. You might could have to be. write that down. Could be. You might have to write that down. Could be. Oh, my God. I like that Chris is advertising another show on this show. Wow. But he has a cup That's right my there. Own show. It's his own show. It's yeah. his own show. I know. You know. He's doing his own show over there, yeah. probably. I hear mumbling. <laughs> he's oh going to do it quiet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. It's one of those moments, like, I guess, why didn't he say that during the... On the I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I'm probably, it, would, it's probably some legal reason. I probably just blew it for him. You know, <laughs> so, sorry, Fabio. <laughs>